and today uh, uh, we have uh, two matches best of three and one match best of five the grand final will be best of five so we will have uh, it will be played on all maps on all competitive maps and right now we're having a mm, fight uh, meta meta against uh, Aniba One on the legacy of Firefire. Fire. And let's uh, give a glance at meta meta builds. And here we have a thief. It's a dancing thief with a no dance skill. It's a uh, good utilities for dancing, but not for killing. You should change it somehow. And probably it's a sword dagger thief with lesser runes and ordinary sword dagger build. Uh, popping. Uh, Next to the Meta Meta Ultima, it is a support element list with Clary Cameron and Melandru uh, runes. Uh, he got 20 and Earth, he wants to give uh, his team the stability. And rest is pretty much the bunkerish stuff. We got a Mesmer with the best uh, utility skill that Kikan has. Um, because, you know, uh, Portal, Illusion of Life are not that good. You need Jer Green, Inventory Shuffle, and oh my god, too bad, too bad. He just stole it. Uh, next one we see here is a, a Fairy Gladius. I mean, it's it's nothing to say about it. He got the Rune of Holbark. He won that minus twenty minus twenty percent condition duration. It's really good uh, because Mesmer has no conge removal. And the runes give uh, decent power. And traits are standard shoulder build, nothing new. Uh, let's go to the Guardian. And Guardian is standard shoulder bu soldier build, um, th standard bunker support build, nothing new. And here we have um, Necromancer. He got a staff and seagull of polarization that affect fears from the previous patch. And Skipter and staff. Uh, he got really offensive traits. He got a dumb fire trait that give burning. He got he has the best trait. He got terror here. Terror is really good. It, he can do a lot of damage with his fear. And he got spectral skills recharge 20% faster. He got two spectral skills. Um, it's really good skills because spectral wall is really strong now. It apply fear. Uh, hopping to Aniba one, we see here is a standard bunker guardian with a more. Um, self-sustained build than a team support. Then we go to the DPS element list. A lot of damage. This guy really want to kill. And next we go to the uh, Mesmer. It is a standard shadow Mesmer with torch. Maybe he is, has his torch to start just to give a blast finish, but maybe he play with torch. Yesterday we saw the Mufasa from Team Ugly played with torch. It's pretty good for Mesmer. Then we hop to the to the Ranger. It is a three four spirit Ranger. It's something new with Doug, double X access here with carry on amulet. This skill got buffed. He can pull the target right now. It's really good skill. I don't know how it will work. He got smoldering on X. Yeah, the burning he gives from the. I don't know where he get burning from. Uh, from spirit. And he got some some nice spirit build here. He's not beast master. He's spirit ranger. Let's see how it works. And the tell the build engineer, nothing new. Let's see it start how we start the splitting. People usually like the map splitting, I don't know why. And we see that the left team, a meta meta, I mean left team should be an Ibo1, maybe I, I, I mix something. No, it's okay. The red team, Aniba 1, uh, uh, meta meta, uh, all on middle, all on middle right now. And what I want to see here is the uh, fight of the spirit ranger. He just pop up his spirit skills, I don't know. The storm spirit already dead. 
but he's doing actually good damage with his axes here. And now the Mesmer from Aniba 1 uh, portal back because he wants uh, to fight. Wait a moment. Yes, he want to he want to kill, secure the kill on this uh, bunker rally who just want to pressure this point. And on the middle point we see that uh, Yagami, the Aniba One elementalist, has fallen down. But now the Azani from Team Meta Meta is down. But he got rest by the Guardian and Thief. Well played by Meta Meta. And now the Guardian is uh, can fall down. He still had his ages, he could just use it, maybe it would save him, I don't know. Let's see if it is possible to res him. And we see that the uh, Guardian just illusioned him, the Mesmer just illusioned him. He is here right in time. And probably the Ranger got his res skill back again. He can just simply res the Guardian when he falls again. And that's what he's doing, he rallied his guard with the Nature's Renewal. And now Meme Ultima is down in down state. And he got illusion to a lot of reses here. A lot of reses from both teams. And I think that uh, Batusai sti still got his spirit. Now he has no spirit right now. And Aniba 1 Disquiet is killing uh, the mob right now. He won't extra points and start for his team. But uh, his team probably lost the team fight because the Guardian is stomped and the elementalist will be stomped too. He need to push far. He can't let the whole team do what they want. And the uh, ranger from uh, uh, from Aniba 1 could simply die here because he is just followed up by the Mesmer and Thief. And it's not the good I best idea to try to res uh, this Mesmer because uh, maybe he can res himself I don't know the team just followed uh, the the engineer and I don't know how looks like the team got the stability maybe he stole it from someone because it's so decorative who can simply steal some skills uh, some buffs and now the team tried to decap this point and we will see the duel. Thief against Mesmer. Uh, probably the Thief take upper hand here because of his uh, evasive abilities. But now he got the support from Angie. Too bad he's already dead. And the team fight should be really good for Niba 1 right now on the middle point. Let's see how the team fight will go. With this, the meme sent the Guardian is getting so much conditions, and he, he probably getting all of them from one single hero, from the Ranger with the spirits. I don't know how, but he's just doing a lot of condis. And all his spirits are already down. They need it. and look at this protection duration. Oh my god, the protection duration for the team Aniba 1 is insane. All members got like perma protection for team fight with the spirits. Yes. We, uh, what member we click, we see the protection here. And now uh, team Aniba 1 is winning the mid fight here. Meanwhile, the team from Aniba 1. Oh no, it's not a team. And the push elementalist is still trying to. Uh, get this point against Mesmer and he decapped it in Tornado I think or with his Conjure Lighting Hammer it's nice skill we see here he just used it to knock back the target and then maybe stun it to let the point be uh, decapped what I personally think that the NG should just push he, he is a push NG uh, I mean the Aniba 1 NG he, used, he has the push build and he got Rocket Boots like insane movement skill. With this rocket boots he should just go and p try to push far point. And if he push far point he can simply win it. And kite enemy team. And now the necro 
uh, try to fight, try to meet fight uh, the guardian. But a ranger from Aniba One uh, came to support him, and he will just simple follow. And yes, he is doing pretty good damage to the. Yes, he, he simply killed this Necro and now he is going to push far. Great decision. He let, let his pet do the damage on Necro. And no, the Necro will rally now. The pet is, hasn't got uh, infinite range now. But the Guardian is coming right in time to keep on damaging this Necro. Well played by the Team Aniba 1. But I think now Rangers should just uh, go away because uh, there is three guys attacking him and he couldn't pop up his spirit and he simply fall down but team Aniba 1 won the team fight on their close point and they will get the close point back and now uh, Aniba 1 is ha having uh, two points Red team wins a capture point Blue team grabbed a capture point and it's really nice build with C from a ranger by the way here and the ranger can probably rally himself with the leak ones but he's not doing it he, he w don't, don't want to risk it and the guardian will from Aniba 1 won't last for long dagger dagger uh, so dagger thief Necrom fear necromancer with burning and new traits he will really melt soon he used all his uh, virtues already, all his cooldowns. He has only ulti ultimate. And he's using ultimate, but he's still dying to Condis. He's just trying to survive as much as possible till his teammates come here. And with this, the Yagami, the element is here, but it's not enough. He still is getting pressure from Mesmer and Necro. They need one more here to uh, secure a fight. But they have uh, too much on they're close against Bunker Rally and Tiff, but Bunker Rally is down and they need to reinforce mid really fast though Guardian got his shouts back but he still has no heal skill uh, the midpoint is decapped by now and the Guardian will fall pretty soon maybe the Ranger will be here in time to rest him I don't know but no the Guardian stomped and he used the rest from Spirit uh, he just, yes, he used it, but it wasn't in time. And now he's trying to bunker point for a bit. Maybe he can do it, I don't know, let's see. And this ranger build is really good, I like it, guys. It, it's nice build, but I don't know why he's using double X instead of torch. But probably he doesn't need torch because of... Uh, Uh, because he has burning from spirit and probably he used uh, X to do ricochet attacks to hit more targets with burning. And now the team uh, Aniba 1 uh, lost the middle completely. But we see that the Angie is doing his Angie job. He, and it's not an Angie by the way, it was an elementalist. He, he come, came to this point and decapped it. Well played by Elementalist, but now he need to run away straight again, straight now. Otherwise he is so dead because Necro and Mesmer can cope with him alone, but Tiff is coming here too. It, it won't be uh, possible to fight. Uh, and yes, he will rest probably, because a lot of uh, guys fr coming here. But now he stomped, the Mesmer stomped him in the distortion. But the Necro will fall, so much burst damage on him from Shatter Mesmer. Uh, and he got ilu instant illusion back to life. What we see here is an Aniba 1D squad trying to kill Swanier. But he got backstabbed by uh, Lady Knock Knock PvP, by the Thief. Oh my god. Uh, such a good play, but I, d I can't see the Chief in HP. And he's. Oh my god! Yagami the Elementalist was. Uh, pretty close to get this mob, but not enough, not in time. 
if they got this mob they would probably uh, have a great possibility to win it and now the Mesmer should use all his cooldowns to, because they need this point really fast if they don't get it they lose it and we see here Batusai looks like he deceived because he's just running into the corner maybe yes uh, he got some luck issues here and right now the team Aniba 1 uh, lost this point because they got they lost two guys and the ranger is running into the rocks looks like it in luck issue but we, we can't remake at this point And the first match uh, lost by the Aniba one. Okay, the guys. Uh, really upset about Spirit Watch, but you know, uh, it was shuttled like uh, 10 uh, days ago. The Spirit Watch, it has some bugs, but if we don't play it, the devs won't uh, pay attention to it. So we need to play it because this map is really fun, lots of action here. Uh huh. And let's wait while the teams are ready. And yes, it is best of three. And indeed, the Spirit Watch is better than Great and Capricorns. I need to ask And the first match was won by the team uh, Medimeta.
All right, they want to. They don't want to play. Too bad. I'm really, really. Gentle today. And of course, of course, I am too, too friendly today and we're changing the map to the Legacy of Foil Fire for the guys. to nail down your strategy. Uh, the winning team uh, get hundred dollars but uh, the most stuff that they will get more points in better placement in a league. Uh, after this tournament we start a big league system. And now we're changing the map to Legacy of Foil Fire. And what we get after the tourna tournament ends, we will get the big, big league system. That's that is that is my plan. I want to separate uh, bad team. I mean, new teams, w average teams, and best teams. Huh? No password? I don't get it. No, it is. And yes, we see the guys coming here. I could outrun a centaur. So, guys, uh, in stream, I'm asking if the stream is lagging. Can you tell me? Uh, if the, there is some slideshow when there is a big clutch, a big team fight, or it's okay, because I don't know, like I can't choose myself, and uh, the game will start really soon. And what has changed the team Aniba 1 here? Um, at the first gu four guys that we see here, nothing has changed. And the four guys here, nothing changed too. And see, here we go with the... L let's... Uh, Uh, the first fi fight uh, was won by Meme, but it was a really close fight there. And this ranger got three spirits. It's all about seeing protection, because four seconds of protection is really a lot. And he got carrion amulet, by the way. I don't know why he is using carrion amulet, and why he is using... Energy and Gidrom. Uh, he's using energy and and axes maybe because he always in range with he, when he playing an axis he is not uh, in melee. Hmm. Something new and strange here. Uh, this 
at this range. And runes of forge for extra protection duration, it probably affect uh, the spirit duration. So he's giving not four seconds; he's giving five seconds of protection to his teammates with this trade. And let's see what traits he uses. He uses a condition duration applied by pets. I don't know why, because wolf is a maybe because uh, it's lasting the fear. I don't know. It can last uh, the fear to one more second from wolf. Uh, it needed to be tested here. Another trait line is pretty same for all rangers. All rangers take it to to be sustained. And this trait line is all about spirit power. Spirit have much health. Spirit activate when they die. And spirit can move and follow you. Really strong, strong build here. And what we see here, uh, Hold on to your what we points. see, how the teams are splitting. And two guys, the Guardian, I mean three guys from Aniba 1 and four guys from Maiden Meta is coming to the graveyard. And looks like the Maiden Meta just stealthed their team. Yes, they're all stealthed and there will be a more. Let's see. Will there be a more? And yes, nice dodge. Well played by the Aniba 1 Lannister. I don't know if it was enough or not, but now Azani has uh, lost his more without uh, any usefulness. Uh, because basically he just uh, missed it. It was a great dodge by Aniba 1 Lannister here. And the Necromancer already down here. Uh, he got illusion, but now a number one Yagami the elementalist is down in down state. But maybe he will be illusioned. No, oh no, he just simply rallied. No, he's not simply rallied. He got rezzed by the ranger spirit, and now they all try to uh, kill this uh, Necro. They don't want him to be rezzed because Necro doing so much damage right now, and you, you can't just let uh, the team to rest Necro. And now Maiden Meta has no points because uh, uh, because the uh, engineer from Aniba 1 just went to the uh, quarry and decapped it. <coughs> well played, he's not capping it, he does simply decap it. And now Nepusan is fighting a uh, Maiden Mad Ultima on his point and he's not uh, letting the point decapped like he did before. He's, he's not using his stealth and if he uses his stealth from his torch uh, the point will be decapped. And now uh, he simply can kill the Maiden Mad Ultima but we see that the uh, Lady Nak 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 PvP, the Tiff is coming here and he is doing his burst damage with his uh, steel skill and with all his damage skills here. And looks like Nepo Sun will fall down. He already used his distortion and yes, he's dead. And now Ultima is getting this point and he will bunker it for ages. Uh, on the middle point, we see that uh, Team Anipa 1 is trying to rubber band the Guardian and they managed to do it. Meanwhile, the Aniba 1 is quiet on the quarry. Uh, he's fighting the Meme Sam, the Necromancer, and it's a really bad fight for him. Because uh, Necromancer is completely counter to, to his build. He just transferred all conditions and then Fear and simply dead. Yesterday I did had a duel with him playing a Necromancer, and I'm really bad at Necromancer because I played it like 10 games only. Uh, and what I simply do is just transfer condition and fear him, and he's dead. I, I, he shouldn't try to fight Necro. And let's go to the middle. And by the way, Team Aniba 1 hasn't got the middle point, though they killed the Guardian. And they're killing a Thief. Uh, but two bunkers here trying to res him. Probably they will be able to res him. But no, we see that uh, Neposan, the Shadow Mesmer is here. Same with uh, Yagami, the Elementalist. They're both doing so much burst damage. But And now the waterfall is free capped, by the way. But Mimazani, the Mesmer. Uh, fallen down and he won't be able to rest either. By the way, we see here the great... Uh, this ranger is doing a lot of support to his team. Uh, this spirit, uh, storm spirit, is giving 10% uh, more, more damage to all teammates. Burning spirit give uh, the burning proc for all teammates. And quicksand spirit, so earth spirit, giving the uh, the protection to all his teammates. And we see that this ranger got so much protection. 
I, I, I can't even believe it because it's so much protection here. And now a Nipa one is quite is fighting uh, the thief here, but Nipa sound the mesmer uh, came here to support the discord. It's really good idea because this sword dagger thief is really good. He can practically kill everyone in one vs one. He's really strong dual build. I know it would be nice to have an option that uh, let them uh, seven. 720p, but uh, I can't just uh, make it myself. It's all—it's all about Twitch. If Twitch let me do it, I will definitely do it because I have the, uh, my computer have the power to split the channels and so. All. And right now we see that the team Anib One got the slightly advantage here. They killed the thief and they secured the close point. And me, but meanwhile the necro. Red team wins a from Aniba 1, from I mean Made Meta, kept the close point and coming to the middle and it's bad idea to let Necro do this job because Necro is really strong in teamfight and we see this cra crazy engineer, he just said screw everything, I'll go there and uh, decap it. Th they saw him but this rocket boot, maybe he was in Vist, I don't know, but he just made some crazy move here. Though uh, and they killed the Azani, the Mesmer, and they will have two points right now. Well played by Meta Meta, uh, by Aniba One. This map is really bad for him, for them. And now the Meta Meta uh, Ultima just used his tornado to decap this point, and he fairly did. But uh, Meta Meta team hasn't got a single point for like uh, 20 seconds already. It's really bad for them. And I think probably the Shutter Mesmer, the proper Shutter Mesmer could, ki could kill the Ellie. And this duel will last long, but n not infinite time. And Mimazani already dead again. The NG uh, killed him. I don't think he will stomp him. He will just put on Condis and then go uh, to the point to full cap it before, to st before trying to stomp. And on mid fight, we see that the Aniba 1 Yagami, the Elementalist, has fallen down. And. <laughs> See, but here, but aside, <coughs> try to resurrect it, the dead body. It's really strange here. And Mad Meta Zani uh, will be rest. He should stomp hit him uh, right before. But because now, uh, here we see the thief is trying to. But thief, it's, it's a bad idea to rest with the thief. He was low HP and now he's full dead. And we see that uh, the thief is down too. He won't be able. He, he, you don't need to stop. He need to damage him really fast because Nick Angie is gonna be dead, and he is rallied right now. And this Necro should run away. I don't know, but maybe he can kill. Yes, he can kill the Angie because Angie is low HP. He tried to use his rocket boots. He shouldn't do it because he should just stay simply on point with the Ranger, and where Ranger could just simply resurrect him. And now the Necromancer has fallen down. Let's see is if Azani got the illusion flight. And yes, he got it. And he illusioned the Necro. But I don't think it's a great idea because uh, uh, Necro will have. Uh, wait. We see the it's great move by from uh, Lady Naknak PvP. He just uh, killed. Uh, came and killed the uh, the engineer and stomped him. Well played. And right now the this uh, thief resurrected the necromancer, but they probably will all fall because they're all low HP and. But now, now they just got the heal back. Though sadly the necromancer has fallen down, but he got shadow refuge and rest again. They are fighting only with two guys. 
I need one got two guys here against three guys of made and matter. Uh, I think made and matter will lose side points, uh, another side point because of this. Otherwise, it's bad trade off with uh, from Aniba one. And we see that this game may be may be ended by the times. Did you see that? Red team got a capture point. Because uh, when the time run out, uh, uh, the winning team will be chosen by the uh, who get the most points. Yeah. And now, main and meta ultimate late Nag Nag PvP are pushing to the far point to the Nepusan. Hmm. And they will probably kill him, though the late Nag Nag is low in HP and Aniba One Yagami and Sir Bachosai is coming to help uh, Nepusan. And it's good help here, though the thief escaped. But they, and they need to come back to res resurrect. And I think it's it's good option for Mad and Matter right now. Uh, the bunker really should just destroy the gates because they need extra points here. I and if he destroyed the gates, uh, the thief can just sneak and kill, kill the Lord Solo. That's what uh, the Aniba One Disquiet should do because uh, they need extra points right now. Because this game won't end uh, at full stop. It will end on time mark unless one of the team kill the Lord. And now, Meta Meta Zani tried to save himself with portal, but uh, Sir Batusai was here right in time to try to do his damage. But he has really low damage. Uh, he can't r out damage the thief healing, and he can't kill the thief here. Uh, this ranger build is not designed for damage. He's designed for team fights. He, he give a lot to his team. He's a great support ranger, I think. But not the great damage one. You do no downstay pressure. He's he's like a friend of uh, elementalist. And now the Yagami the elementalist has fallen down. And looks like the, the this ranger this Angie from Aniba Aniba one uh, is just uh, coming here to die because. They're all low, but we see that Aniba One Yagami got rest and healed back. Well, it's all the power of the spirit range, the nature's renewal just did the job. And they killed the Lady Nag Nag PvP. Well played, I don't know what to say. They are fighting with three guys against three gu against four maybe, I, I don't know. And where is the Nepo Sun, the, mes the Elementalist, Mesmero? And he's coming on the middle, he wants to kill the Guardian. And he got more pretty soon, he probably can kill the Guardian. And where is Mim Ultima? Mim Ultima is helping his team on the side point. And they're still losing it with four guys here. Uh, really, the power of this support ranger is really strong here. They just killed two guys already. And the Guardian fallen down in the middle. Probably it was because of user more, and it wasn't because of more, and the Necro got mod instantly. And Aniba 1 is getting the great advantage at this point, they just wiped the whole team at far point, and they're gonna get mid now. And it's only uh, less than 2 minutes left till the end of the match. The only solution for Mad Mad right now is Lord Rush, to, <coughs> to get extra points and steal some points while rushing to the Lord. It is the only solution they can get right now. And guys, this, this support ranger is really good. I don't know. I don't know how, but he's doing really a lot. And now what he's doing is just bunkering the point. Meta Meta Ultima the bunker got killed on the middle point. Too bad, too bad. And Yagami the Elementalist got raped by uh, Tiff and Mesmer on side point, on waterfall. But 
Yagami got instantly illusioned by the well played of Nepusan. Oh my god, this this mesmer is clicking so fast I, I, I can't really follow his movements. The Necro will fall to this range, I don't know by the way how. Because Necro is really strong against any build and the stranger has not that much condi removal he got only the trait that transfer uh, condi to pet and he'll probably the ranger will fall because he has no spirit right now but maybe not we can't really see it and yes he's fallen down but uh, you can't get uh, that much points for for less than 20 seconds and uh, when especially when the team uh, made uh, Aniba one winning the side point. They just killed the Mesmer and they are gonna kill. And we see that Sir Batusai actually won this fight. He killed the Necro from down state. And you know that Ranger's down state is the strongest down state in game. But Necro probably could just fear him off. Well played by. Uh, Nibu one, and now it's one to one, just and we like go that. to the third the match. Okay. If you don't leave the match, I would just ban all. I don't know how you get the password because I changed it. No, our spirit is really good, guys, for uh, uh, team fights because he do uh, increase the damage. And maybe you will see the patch note. I I can link it because I I have the uh, Guild Wars 2 com homepage. Let's see the patch notes it's here. There is something good for Spirit Ranger there. Uh, that especially the Iron Spirit. It like it, it it should make insane damage right now. Ranger. And it is yes. No, it's not. And I'm gonna link it to the stream. Yes, it, it does 3.3k on middle golem. It's 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 really nice skill. It's it's oh yeah. Yeah, I know. I just link it. But I'm li really gentle to guys because I I don't know why I'm j so gentle. Uh, to let them play a legacy instead of uh, instead of spirit watch mm. No, Spirit Watch are fun. It's broken, but fun. You know, broken arms are fun too. Broken vases are fun. If a bull go to the shop and broke some plates, it's really fun. And the broken plates are for happiness. So break broken maps are for happiness too. Let's cheer all. And let's see how the game starts. And again, I'm gonna watch this. Uh, tactical strategy here, some icons moving around, uh, the ranger icon, guardian icon, and I don't know, elementalist icon moving to the middle point. And f again, again, I see that team uh, meta meta is trying to do a stealth bomb. They all stealth and they want to kill the elementalist or ranger, I don't know. 
Yes, the attack element is. He got blink, but blink is not storm break anymore. He should use miss form right away, because now he should, he had to use the cleave. And by the way, the element is using cleave. I don't know why cleave is not that good. Maybe good, but not that good. And this Ellie just fallen down and get the fatal fallen damage, and he, he just went to the grave at start. And what we see. Uh, the meme ultima here is trying to push. He's in tornado, but I don't know why Neposan should just shatter him in tornado because when he's in tornado, you can just put in confusion on him. But maybe it got fixed in the previous patch. I don't know. There was something about the confusion stuff there. And maybe the tornado is now available because no one can just kill you in with the confusion that much. And an evil one, this squad just tried to. He kept this point and he got so much damage from the Steve. You need to stay in, in your bombs to, to kill it. Even with the ultimate, uh, he can't be sustained. He got his heal back and he killed the Thief. Well played. Uh, really strong game here from Aniba 1, the squad, the engineer. And th he got this point right away. Meanwhile, the Aniba 1 is starting to get the advantage on the middle point. They killed the Necro and Necro got Illusion. It's not for long. Uh, the Illusion lasts only 10 seconds or a bit more. I don't, I don't remember. It may be 20, 12 seconds. 15 seconds, yes. And now he's already in downstain too. And I don't think they will be able to res him. He got simply stomped. And Mim Ultima got killed by the Nepo Sun solo here. And now the Nipo 1 is getting. It's recapping uh, Made in Matter. Well played. And yes, well played again from Aniba 1. Uh, the the elemental Ziyagami just saved the Aniba 1 squad from being stoned, but I don't think it will be last for long. He need to use the Tanado to uh, help his teammate here. Otherwise, it's not possible. But still, he he took some time. It 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 really worked. They they get extra points by this, and they get extra pressure on the Guardian on the middle point. Hope will probably fall really soon because Neposan got his more. No, yes, he got his more, but he missed it. Probably because me Mo Moby is not mod here. Late Nak Nak PvP, the team just eated all the EOE damage from Shatter that um, that uh, was deserved to be to be eaten by the guard. And now the me Moby, the guardian, has no cooldowns to get it. Already, if he got any damage right now, he will die. But he got his heal skill r right away. Though he will still be able to fall really soon, because without cooldowns, you can't really feel sustained. Hey, matter, matter, matter. When to get the point back? So me Moby fall down and he's stomped. Well played by Aniba One. And what is now? Uh, there is some clutch on top buff, I think. Yes. Uh, Mim uh, Nepo Sun is fighting uh, the uh, Mim Sam, and we see both of them down. Said uh, Nepo Sun got Rock Dog, but we see Moby. Moby will probably run to the uh, Sam, and he will res his mate Necromancer, and they will get the top buff for sure right now because uh, we see that the Chief is coming here either to help his teammate. Really good, re really good uh, team play here. And now team Meta Meta getting the top buff and they getting their points back. And yes, uh, the elementalist Yagami was here right in time, but he, uh, the Guardian had blocks. But he still got a successful stomp on the Necro. It's like a half win in this game. They can just outnumber enemies right now because they can practically kill the Thief. He simply uh, fall down because he was really low on HP and uh, if he stay back he would simply die. And Mim Ultima, the Elementalist is down now too. So Aniba 1 uh, got middle point and side point straight after uh, they lost the top buff. And they are still fighting at the top of the buff. I don't know why. Uh, maybe they want to push. And we see that Aniba, uh, Nepo San is doing some Crazy stuff. He's he's coming to his team. Pro probably he want to portal his team back to the 
He said point. To side. Yes or not? Yes, he put up. He opened portal and we see the entire team is just transferring to this point. He's using illusion of life on an Ibu one Discord on the on the NG. And he should use his ultimate because otherwise he will fall down. Yes, he used his ultimate. And Mesmer, oh my God, the Mesmer just uh, saved himself uh, because he pulled it back, pulled it out uh, when he was going to die. And he got rest by Mim Ultima, who is just bunkering uh, their close point. Uh, and now the Aniba one is. Uh, simply outnumbered here, and uh, they simply got the better draft. I mean, the made a medical better draft here because they got the guardian here who gives them protection and stuff. But Aniba one got uh, ranger here who's giving them spirits and protection too. But still, they're missing some guys because Ayagami is down too right now. Though they killed the late knock knock PvP, if they manage to stomp him. Uh, it would be the half win. And yes, we see he stopped. I don't know how, but uh, he got stomped. And now the Mimazani is down and he's eaten by the pet. Yes, we see that the pet just uh, killed him. Me meanwhile, the team Meta Meta Ultima uh, kept uh, got uh, the top buff. And again, there are some guys. Guys, I, it's the last time I'll kick you. Other, next time I will ban you. Ban you all. Sorry. And now the meta meta ultimo is just taking uh, time at the bottom buff. Meanwhile the rest of the team trying to zerk everywhere. Uh, late knock knock pvp just killed the nepo on middle and Sir Butterside just has died on the far point. But still we see that the uh, Azani got killed by Aniba 1 Yagami here uh, who got one point to Anibo in Aniba 1 favor. So basically what you see now uh, both teams are playing 4 versus 4 because they have w one bunker guy on the bottom buff. None of them can kill themselves. Uh, so they are just uh, leaving one person from each team. But we see here the Nepo sound, the Mesmer. No, he's not coming here. <coughs> he doesn't want to, to use his skills here. And now I think it's good time to use more on Necro and kill him right uh, straight away, or may maybe on Mesmer. Uh, to win this middle really fast, and they they still killed the uh, this uh, necromancer, and he got stomped. Well played by Madam by Aniba One here, and now they need to kill the thief. Let's see how the thief will try to escape. Uh, probably, and he doesn't need to escape. He's enough sustain here, and he killed. Yes, he simply killed this. Uh, Uh, this ranger. And what we see now that Mim Ultima is fighting an Ibo 1 Discord. Uh, the Guardian rotated with Angie because it's really better to have Angie here instead of Guardian because Angie has enough sustain to, to survive the Elementalist. Such an Elementalist, of course. And he have a, a slight, slight chance to kill it. And now that we see the burning. The burning is really insane from uh, Sir Bajasai. He's just killing with it. And now the made a me uh, Aniba 1 got the middle point and there is a top buff there. Uh, well let's see how they go. Probably if the if Aniba 1 got the top buff, uh, the game should be over. Because they will get much more each, much more, more uh, points with it. Even with one capture point. And now they killed Late Knack Knack PvP the Thief. And he will be stomped. Yes, he is. He's stomped by a Ranger. And 
The time is running out for Made and Matter to do something. They they need bottom and top buff at the same time. Maybe the top buff will be enough, but I don't think so. Has top buff plus some kills and a decap of the middle would be enough, but only top buff won't be enough, especially when the rangers that just decided not to fight for top buff and uh, run to the uh, altar and cap it. Even team uh, Aniba 1 get the top buff, it won't be enough. And what we see the power of elementalist. He got downed and he just ran in water and will su resurrect himself here. That's what he do. And now made a matter took the top buff. But looks like uh, Necromancer, they're trying to get any points right now. Necromancer attacked uh, the ranger and Tifa taking so a lot of people here. Really a lot. The ranger will fall, definitely fall, because you, you can't be sustained against Tif, Necro. But he's trying, doing his best. He do so much evades. Really well played. But he's still down. And the Nepal Sun, the Mesmerist can he maybe he can illusion this, this ranger. No. Uh, he is not in time, but uh, probably the game is over because Meta Meta can't get the bottom buff right now. There is a still Angie here, and GG, uh, the team Aniba one winning the first semifinals. Mm-hmm.